Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. Well, there are U.S. Senators coming to town and only the Chamber could control that. And I've got Brian Stevens, President and CEO of the Hampton Roads Chamber of Commerce. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Bob. Okay, first of all, guys, how'd you pull this off to get him down here at the same time right. and not arguing? Well, it, it, it took quite a bit of coordination, but uh, both senators were very agreeable to come into Hampton Roads and, uh, and tell the citizens of Hampton Roads what's going on in D.C. It was just a matter of coordinating uh, with their staffs to get them here at the same time. So, so we they're going to be coming in? Yep. On August 17th? August 17th, Founders Inn, 1230. And uh, we can accommodate a lot of folks in the Founders Inn, so we welcome everybody in Hampton Roads to come and see what their senators have to say. Now, how do they go about getting tickets for it? We want to get that out in the open. Very good, yes. Just visit the Hampton Roads Chamber website, and uh, information will be provided there. Uh, everyone's welcome to come, get your tickets, come early. And uh, the neat thing about this is not only will the senators address the, uh, the crowd, um, but at the, at the end, they're going to take questions and answers from the crowd. So if you want to ask your senator a question, this is the place to come and do it. All right. So if you have an opinion, you can share it. You can share through the opinion a question. as well. Through, through a question. And uh, this is the place to do it. Brian, you mentioned a, a key word, coordinated yeah. details. Let's go right to the chase. That's what <laughs> the Hampton Rose Chamber is all about. And by the way, welcome. Jennifer wanted me to say welcome to Hampton Roads, but I'm going to say welcome to Norfolk Perspectives. How's that? That's, that sounds and great. And Hampton Roads. Well, thank you for having me. So how's it feel to be back? It, it's great to be back. We, uh, we love Hampton Roads. We, we left for about six years and uh, decided we wanted to come back. And I was very fortunate to, uh, to have the opportunity to come back in, in this capacity where I can serve not only the business community, but all the residents of Hampton Roads. Okay. Now, you're coming back at a time where people are starting to brush themselves off from some, we're not really sure what we call that economic situation, mm -hmm. but things are kind of on the rebound. How are you finding it here in Hampton No, I, I, I'm encouraged with everything that's going on. Obviously, we need to continue to protect and grow our three economic drivers, which is the port, the, uh, uh, the military, and, and tourism. Um, and we're doing that very well, I think. I think this last round of, uh, of budget cuts for the, the Department of Defense uh, uh, was very generous to us. So uh, we were fortunate that our efforts paid off there. Um, and then we need to, uh, to work together towards economic development to try to diversify the economy a little bit. That's going well. We need to be, build uh, uh, small businesses, encourage entrepreneurs. That's going very well. And I think everybody uh, that's involved in this process understands that a rising tide really floats all boats. Mm -hmm. And we need to work together as a community in Hampton Roads. Um, for the betterment of all. And that's starting to happen. I can see, uh, just in my 18 months back, I can see the trend heading in that direction. Okay, now we keep saying you, you've come back. So, mm -hmm. where'd you come from? Came from San Antonio, Texas. Okay, I, uh, beautiful town. It's a beautiful town. We loved it there, but it was never home. And uh, Hampton Roads is home. Uh, we love the people here. We love the community. Uh, just uh, the, uh, the variety of things that you can do here in Hampton Roads makes it a great place to live, work, and raise a family. So we wanted to come back, so uh, we're glad to be back, and we plan on staying. Yeah, let me, you're mil retired military. Correct. Army? Yes. So um, there's a mission? There sure is. And you accomplish the mission? Sure do. That's not really chamber work, though, is it? Well, it is now. Uh, you know, <laughs> okay. My, my, my philosophy that uh, was ingrained in me uh, in my military career was that failure is not an option. I mean, you improvise, you adapt, you find a way to accomplish the mission. Uh, I felt uh, the same as a president and CEO of a, of a manufacturing company out in San Antonio. Uh, we found a way to accomplish the mission, whether it was... Uh, um, research and development or whether it was sales. Uh, same thing with the Chamber. Uh, we know what our mission is. Our mission is to create a pro-business environment. Our business is to set the conditions so that businesses of all sizes can succeed here in Hampton Roads. And, uh, and we're doing that. Uh, we're working hard at it every day. I got a very uh, competent uh, professional staff uh, that comes to work every day to, uh, to set those conditions. And we're starting to see a big difference in Hampton Roads. And cool. so, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to win. We're gonna so the big company? Yep. And that new entrepreneur has it, a place? Absolutely. We, uh, uh, we love the, uh, the small businesses. Uh, they're the backbone of the economy in Hampton Roads. People don't realize that. Uh, and we have Fortune 500 companies here in Hampton Roads. And the chamber uh, is supportive of all of them. We have what I call a menu of services that uh, addresses all the needs, wants, and desires of all the businesses, no matter what the size. All right. 
I love it. Where there's a mission, it will be accomplished. That's right. We'll so, uh, on, and that mission on August 17th is come and see and talk to the two U.S. Senators from the We'd state. love to have you come and, uh, and see your U.S. Senators, yes. So, thanks a lot. And I'd love to have you back on to kind of talk about kind of current situations and I'd issues. So be let's, happy let's, to let's anytime, stay friends. Bob. Thank you very much. Be happy okay. to anytime. Welcome back. When we come back, St. Mary's is in the house. It's going to be great. Stay tuned.